There are many ways to create a glass material using 3ds Max, but I needed something simple. My name's Dai the IT Guy and I'm here to show you how. I'll activate the top viewport. My first task is to create a background to stand my glass object on. Click on Standard Primitives, select Plane, drag out a square plane, don't worry about its size. Now switch on the Angle Snap toggle. Select Rotate. I'll activate the left viewport, then hold Shift down, and rotate the plane through 90 degrees. This duplicates the plane, which I'll leave as a copy. Now select the Move tool, then drag the vertical plane to the edge of the base. I'll just leave a small overlap. Now activate the Perspective Viewport and hold down the Alt key and the middle mouse button. The model can now be rotated to suit. OK, now we need an object to apply our glass material to. So back to the Standard Primitives panel and select Teapot. If you've ever wondered what a teapot's doing here, Google Utah Teapot. We want a smooth model, so up the number of segments to 15, and also check that all the teapot parts are ticked. With that done, activate the top viewport. Click in the center of the base and drag out the teapot model. Just make it a size that suits you. OK, with our teapot created, I'll just activate the perspective viewport. Type J to get rid of the selection box. Now we can work on our materials. Type M to open the materials editor. As you can see, there are six material slots. Click in slot one to activate it. If I click here, then hold and drag the material to the teapot. Now let the mouse button go and the material has been assigned to the teapot. I need a material for the background planes. So I'll repeat this with slot 2. Again, click the left mouse button, hold and drag to plane 2. Click and hold, drag to plane 1. Planes 1 and 2 now have material slot 2 assigned. First off, I'm going to create a material for these planes. So with slot 2 selected, click here on the None button alongside the Diffuse Color slot. From the Material Map browser, choose Bitmap. The Max Maps folder is already open. I'm going to use a wood material, so click to open the folder. I'm looking for the cedarboard map. Click on it to add it to my material. As you can see, this now shows in slot 2. I'll just click here to see the material in the viewport. I'll just click back in the dialog panel. Activate two-sided. That's the timber panels done. Now activate slot one. Make sure it's going to be seen in the viewport. Switch on the slot background. To create glass, I want a blin material. To begin, increase the specular to 100% white. Now increase the specular level to 150 and up the glossiness to 40. You can see the spike increases considerably. Now I'm going to add a map. All glass has refraction. Click on the None button here. Select Ray Trace. You can see that the material slot is now showing a glass material. OK, I'm happy with that. Let's go for a render. Click here on the Render Production button. Just wait a few moments for the render to complete. As you can see, we've got a very reasonable glass material. I just want to make a few minor enhancements. I'm going to add a reflection map. Select the parent material. 
Click the None button alongside the Reflection slot. Select Bitmap. I've got a Reflections folder in my Max Maps folder. These are just maps that I like to use for reflections. So, just open the folder. I'm going to apply this White Splashes image. Double click on it. You can see that it's made a big difference to the look of the material. It's now far too bright. To correct this, return to the parent material, reduce the reflection from 100 to 5. Finally, I want to just darken it a little. I'll do this by altering the ambient and diffuse to black. Click OK. Now for another render. And there it is, our simple glass material. Because this material uses a bitmap for reflections, obviously it doesn't reflect its actual environment. However, this does speed things up. It's great for background objects or if you're just in a hurry. Well, that's it for this class. I hope you've enjoyed it and that you found it useful. There are many more classes on the way, so why not subscribe? For now, thanks for watching.